The following workshops are held on a regular basis at the DLA Training Center. As I continue on with this 10-week series on why the average salesperson only sells 10 to 12 cars per month, today I want to focus on prospecting. Consider this. If there was no advertising budget in your dealership and the manufacturer stopped running special incentive programs that drew customers to your lot, what would you do to find new buyers to sell to? Salespeople and managers who rely only upon these things to bring in customers will always be limited in their potential for great success. Prospecting for new customers has always been a part of doing business, and without it, the status quo is what we can expect in return. But just as the customer's mindset towards doing business is changing, so must our prospecting methods change if we're able to find new customers and earn their business. Salespeople who sit and wait for customers to come to them will find themselves living on flat deals made by selling on price alone. There are two new realities in our business that offer previously unavailable opportunities for prospecting. One is, of course, the internet and the tremendous value it brings for reaching potential customers online. And the second is the private selling industry that has now gone online with sites like Craigslist, AutoTrader, and usedcars.com. Through the internet and social media, a car salesperson can make contact with customers by just connecting with people they already know. With the average Facebook or Twitter user having hundreds of online friends today, how many of those are likely to buy a car in the next year or so? Probably quite a few. With that in mind, ignoring the prospecting value of social media websites could cost you a lot of money from lost potential sales. Websites like Craigslist offer a view of people in your area that are selling their cars online. Some of these are doing so to get cash to purchase a new car. Since they usually advertise their prices with pictures of the car included, it isn't hard to find out if they may be interested in trading it in or selling their car to a dealership. This can give you not only a chance to get them to look at what you have to offer, it can also be a great resource for used cars for your inventory. Even if they aren't interested in buying now, the likelihood that they will in the future is pretty certain. By making contact with them, and introducing yourself, they may give you a chance to earn their business now or when they do decide to buy another car. Too many salespeople think that prospecting is only valid if it brings the customer in immediately. The fact is that the more people who know what you do for a living, the more likely it is that some of them will come to you at some point when they need a new car. The idea has always been that it was all a matter of numbers. In other words, the more people you talk to, the more sales you will make. If the average ratio of contacts to customers was 10%, then all you had to do was talk to 10 people in order to make a sale. Talk to 100 and you make 10 sales. Those dealerships that have not yet fully and aggressively embraced the internet are missing out on the tremendous potential of online selling. In the same way, salespeople who ignore the value of social media and online car selling sites are missing out on a great resource for earning new business. The advent of mass telemarketing has largely ruined the value of cold call selling, as people today don't want to be bothered by a sales call from someone they don't know. But having a referral contact is another thing altogether. This brings us to the best prospecting resource of all, previous customers. Salespeople who don't stay in touch with their past customers will be doomed to working themselves to death every day finding new ones. There is no better resource for new business than satisfied customers who have already purchased from you. Staying in touch with your sold customers as their automotive liaison is critical. It is as simple as a phone call every four to six months reminding them of their scheduled routine maintenance. What better way to stay in touch with your customer? This shows you care and that their business was and is still appreciated. But be careful. Asking this valuable entity for referrals or promoting the idea of them trading up to a newer model is not wise. By doing this, all you do is turn the value of the contact into benefiting you and not them. Once this occurs, they'll no longer take your call. So be their automotive liaison and they will be back for more cars from you and they will tell their friends about you too. And don't forget the baited field of the service department. Many customers who come there are ready to consider buying a new car. Sometimes they just need to be asked. Prospecting is work and there's no denying that. 
But selling a car to someone that you have found through your own efforts can sometimes be the most satisfying and encouraging part of this business. Let's face it, we're in this business to sell cars. Part of that business includes drumming up new customers. Next week, I'll talk about poor goal planning and how that can affect your success in building your business. I look forward to being with you then.